What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my stream of Heavy Rain. Um, let's just go ahead and start playing. Uh, it's been a couple days since I played. Can I help you, sir? Well, I hope so. My name's Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. Uh, I'm investigating the case of the origami killer. Uh, I'd like to ask you a few questions. My son is dead, Mr. Shelby. I have nothing more to say. I also lost someone I loved. I know what you're feeling. Then you will understand that I do not wish to talk about it. So this is a guy that, um... The origami killer, I guess, got one of his sons. Guess you change your mind. Oh, I waited too long. Crap. There really is no point. I don't know, I probably would have just left him alone anyways. Oh, do you sell inhalers? I'm all out, and at least I won't go away completely empty-handed. In the back of this door, to the right. Thanks. Although, if, I might have been able to convince him to give me information, because I couldn't give... Oh, there's chips on the floor? That's going to mean something. There's some... <laughs> Smith. I'm looking into everything. I'm making... I'm overanalyzing. Hey, as always, too, I have messed with the audio again. I felt like the audio what last time was that? still a little bit too high. So let me know how it sounds again. Are you looking for something in particular? Give me what you got in the register. Don't fucking try anything. Nope, see I knew it. I knew those chips meant something. I can't walk Open down that aisle. Register, dumb fuck. Put the money on the counter. Okay. Shit, you deaf or what? Are you gonna open that fucking register or not? No, sir. You do not have oh, right you know what? I bet I need to go down this aisle. Have it. I don't know which aisle did I go down first. I'm gonna go all the way down here. You're out of your fucking mind, man. You don't get it, do you? I'm Is, gonna should I go in there, maybe? If you don't do what I say now. You shall not be robbing my register, sir. That money is mine. I ask you now to leave before it is too late. It's locked. Christ, goddamn idiot. Oh, don't this dude's like gonna you. get killed. Don't He's just walking so me. slow. I thought maybe I would no, go sir. into that door back that there. And get like a weapon or something. Oh, oh, oh! Here we go. Hey, oh my God! Come here. I, f mm, I screwed that up. Good. I said, come here now. Don't move. Hands up. I was supposed to hold it down. Put hands up or I'll shoot. I messed that up. Good. Okay. Look, it's not worth it. Put the gun down. And just walk away. You giving me advice? I'll give you some fucking advice. Um. Uh, my name's Scott. What about you? What's your name? Andrew. My name's Andrew. Don't panic. Let's just stay calm. Nobody here wants to hurt you. Uh, we're all just gonna be cool, and everything will be all right. Yeah. It's hard to read the choices in time sometimes. Everything's gonna be all fucking right. Um. You don't really want to shoot anybody, do you? I'm sure we can find a way out of this mess, right? Now, I want you to put the gun back in your pocket and quietly walk out of the store. My friend and I will forget about what just happened, and you'll have earned a second chance not to fuck up your life. What do you say? Come on. You didn't get any money. Do you really want to hurt, like, hurt nice someone? Try. For a second there, you almost had me believing all your shit. What? What are you getting out of this? And now. Right. Don't mess with a fat cop. Thousand thank you, sir. Yeah, you want to give me some information what now? If you had not been well, here. This I didn't come by for nothing. Have a nice day. When my boy, Razor, disappeared, I received a letter with a locker ticket inside. Inside the locker, I found this box. I do not understand what it means. But I think it must be a sort of message 
from the man who took my son from me. Can I? Those Converse? No joke, Converse is the only shoe that I ever wear. Every year for my birthday, my like future mother-in-law gives me a pair for my birthday. Did not help me to save Reza, but maybe it will help you find the other little boy. Cool. Mr. Shelby. So it was the origami thing, I, I guess. To think that there was no good to be found in this place. I can see now that I was wrong. Wait, did we just leave that guy laying there? Yeah. So we're not even gonna like help or like call the police or do anything just leaving him lay there and this guy's like yeah whatever back to business as usual what if the dude wakes up they didn't even take the gun the gun was on the floor still that was a bit unbelievable I don't know little things like that in like games and show TV shows and movies and stuff it really breaks the it kind of breaks the fourth wall for me a little bit not in a literal way but it in a way that it just it breaks that connection you feel with the game where you're you know you're in part of the story you I don't know I can't explain it it just kind of breaks the the connection to the game a little bit because it shows me that it's a game someone wrote this story okay so, I don't want to stand up yet, but let's see what this stuff is. Put my watch on. Or not. Just look at the time. It was like 2 something, I think. Yeah, about 2.45 or something. Uh, did I read that right? It was flashed kind of fast. Hmm. One second, guys. I'm going to take my glasses off. I was actually trying to wear them while playing, but it's just not possible. Alright, so, uh, yeah, I don't want to sit back down. Alright, so we had the naked dude at the beginning of the game. Now we got the naked girl. It was like they just wanted to be able to show off as much nudity as possible in the game. I know, I know, she's not actually nude. I'm just joking. Does she need to use the bathroom? Go ahead. This is for all you sickos out there. <laughs> that look. You're just like, oh, yeah, la da da. Using the bathroom. I honestly don't know what that look was about. Wash your hands. Is there even anything else to do in here? Why am I in here? It's sometimes hard to tell what's a cutscene and what's just like a weird little action that you're able to do. What is that? What are you taking? Without water? Damn, that's she's a badass. Like... That was a big pill, too. She just threw that thing in the back of her throat. Wait, where am I? I thought I was, like... In... Yeah, we're not gonna take a shower. I don't feel like turning this into a... Adult video.
Why is there like what's she thinking? Um a hot drink is what I need. Oh 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 I see the stairs. Okay. So does this take me to the kitchen? She wants a hot drink. Like what? Like it's not hot, is it? Well it's probably been sitting out, so I mean yeah, probably. I'm not sure why she wants a hot drink necessarily. It's obviously not too like cold in the building she's in if she's walking around in her underwear. I love being just being in my underwear though. Like I really hate clothes and I wish that we could all just be well, we don't have to be naked, but it, I just wish that it was okay to be in less clothes more often throughout the day because clothes are just so restricting and as soon as I get off work every day I immediately come home just take off my clothes and exist without them on me for like a few minutes before I change into some clean clothes and go about my day like if you do the same Why can I not... I'm still getting used to this, like, controller setting. It's not a setting, I guess. It's just a control scheme, I guess. Cool, I can just do that. I really have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing right now. It kind of bothers me whenever it does stuff like this, where it just kind of throws me into a scene, and I don't know what's going on. Is that... Wait, wait, wait. Maybe this is the wife of the guy that killed the son well sons now I guess is this Sean and Jason Jason's mom I can't remember what she looks like I, honestly I'm not sure I'm guessing we'll find out soon enough oh someone's in there that would scare the crap out of me one of my biggest fears is someone breaking into my house. Like waking up in the middle of the night and someone being in your room. That is just, like it's a horrifying thought. And I watch a lot of YouTube videos that are like, you know, top 15 mysterious, like whatever. And it is all just, <laughs> it's all just nightmare food basically. Oh, you didn't leave that open. You know you didn't leave that open. What? Well, see, what's weird though is I don't know if the like this origami killer is a supernatural thing or not, because like I don't really know how far into the supernatural realm this game goes. No, that looks like a physical person. Oh my god. See but light bulbs blowing? That is There's someone here. There's someone in the apartment. The phone on the desk. I could call for help. The front door. It's the only way out. Or is she if going I crazy? It, I still have a chance. Okay, so I have to make it to the front door. Where is the front door? There he is. Wait, wait, wait. So I can't go in there? Why did I go back? I don't understand. Where's the front door? Did it show me? Maybe it's over here. I guess, yeah, it's that. This is giving me anxiety. Again with the motion controls. Alright. Oh, there's a second one? Is there a second one? Is that the same guy? There's no way that was the same guy. 
I hope it doesn't ever have me push like R3 or L3. Oh my god. He's trying to kill me. What did I do to him? I stabbed him with something, I think. Oh my god, this is for real. This is not a joke. They seem like army or something. Oh, you're dead, girl. Oh, I messed it up. Oh my god. I got that one. Oh, I messed them all up. Oh my god. He's going to kill me. These games are so neat. Everything by Quantic. Although I haven't seen much of Beyond Two Souls yet. I did finish uh, watching Detroit Become Human though. And I highly recommend it. There is a third guy. Are you for real right now? No, 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 no. It's a dream. Girl. Are you real right now? Like. <laughs> no, no, no. I hate that. It was, okay, it was, it was kind of cool, but still. <laughs> they got me, they got me good. I guess I unlocked a new bonus. Whatever that is. I haven't actually gone back to the main menu yet. I just put my PS4 in rest every day when I'm done playing. Because I'm never too sure about where it's saved. So I don't want to have to like miss out on recording something or have to record something twice. Or what have you. I wish it would show this guy's name, because I'm really not sure what his name is. Wait, is that... Ethan. Ethan Mars is his name. When the parents came home from church, all their children were gone. They searched and called for them. They cried and begged. But it was all from no avail. The children had never been seen again. Hmm. Someone just sent that to him? Oh, 0604 was on the back. Oh, 0604. I have to get out of here and find out what this ticket is about. Oh, 0604. And it looked like it was something to a locker somewhere. My sinuses are really bothering me again today, guys, so I'm sorry. I have a lot of sinus problems. Oh, I went out the back door, didn't I? Oh, one second. Sorry about that. Okay, we're back. Sorry. I had... <laughs> I had there was a hair underneath my headphone, and it was, like, tickling... Like, tickling <laughs> the inside of my ear. Sorry. It's embarrassing. Mr. Mars, Mr. Mars, a few words. Oh Mr. my god. Goddamn reporters. They've been camped outside my house all day. They're there about Sean, I guess? No, we, I mean, you don't want to just hide in your house for the rest of your life. Mr. That's Mars, silly. Can you confirm that your son has disappeared? Do you think the origami killer Mr. Mars, 
get another car. I'm going to walk straight to that car without stopping on the way. Get out of my way. I don't think I have any control over the direction he's walking. Can you confirm that your son has disappeared? Oh, it's because they all found out that um, my son is more than likely the next origami killer victim. I was thinking about it, and I was like, why are they all there, like, over... I mean, I get it, there's a kid missing, but people don't really just make news stories out of that all the time. It's still gotta be more than just that, or at least that, there wouldn't be that many people there. But I guess if it's, it's a serial killer that's killing kids specifically, and... Like, there's so many mysterious things going on around it, and no one really knows who the person is, then it's going to, I mean, it's going to have some intrigue about it, so people would, would more than likely flock to see or to interview or get an interview with the next victim's father before anyone else, if possible. That's the way these news places are. Like vultures. All right. Gonna, gonna have to make it through the crowd. Okay. Let's look at that. Out. Okay, right Just there. The yellow hat guy. There are two of them right there next to each other, and there's a third one. Like, look at that. They're all three on the screen right now. It just bothers me. I get that. You, in, a, in, a, in order to make a crowd like this believable, you gotta have a lot of people. But like, go through at least a little more effort to. Too many people. Too many people to make your characters different. You could use the same character model but put different clothes on them. Or there's a multitude of things you could do. I mean, hell, your game is literally cutscenes. You didn't have to really like develop anything too crazy. So why not just put a little extra time into the character models and not have the exact same like 10 in a crowd of 100 people? You know, maybe make like 50. Or even like 10 with five different sets of clothes. Or, you know, whatever. So is time frozen? <laughs> it just collapsed. Is this like the upside down? I need to finish watching. Stranger Things. I've only seen like half of the first season. Dad, where are you? Oh, it's Jason. Jason. More of the Jasoning. Dad. Jason. Where'd you go? Dad. Oh, he disappeared. Jason. Where are you at now? Jason! I'm looking for the red balloon. That damn red balloon. That's what got, got him killed. Oh, I forgot. If I touch people, they fall. Let's just knock some people down. Oh, this damn yellow hat, dude. Oh, there he is. Okay. He just walked into a wall. Dad. Yeah, just fucking like, ram him. I think it was all in his head. Like, I think he is, he's going crazy to some extent, and that's what this is going to be about, I'm sure, is just his, his, I don't know, delve into insanity and just how he deals with it, and... Line 18, box number 3. The effects it has on him. 18-3. Oh my god, come on.
That was funny, it actually like triggered a cutscene of him like being spacey. If I'm ever really quiet for an extended time in a game, that's because sometimes I space out too. It was 18.3, right? But that's, I mentioned in one of the videos recently that um, I do space out in cutscenes sometimes and kind of forget. It's 06, 04. Oh, I, he just does it on his own. I don't even need to know that. But consequently, I sometimes will get back into the game and have not paid attention to the cutscene enough to know what I'm supposed to be doing. It's a bad habit, a very bad habit. I do it while I'm playing Klonoa sometimes too because I just am focusing on platforming so much that I'm not able to pay attention. But I'm still new to Let's Playing, so I'll get better, guys. <laughs> Crossroad Motel. That sounds like, uh,. Something from Supernatural with the crossroad demon or whatever. Like if you like Supernatural. Lucky Locker. Every time I log on, like, turn my PS4 back on, I've always have gotten, like, uh, a trophy or two from this game. And it always shows up, and I'm like, what is this notification? Because I never get notifications on my PS4. I don't really ever play PS4 with other people. And it's kind of the reason that I'm excited about this channel, because my fiancé doesn't play video games, so I don't really have anyone to play video games with on a regular basis. So it's really nice just to be able to have or build a community of people that will play games with me maybe and at least watch me play and enjoy my funny little jokes I make because I'm so hilarious I'm really not I'm not funny I didn't really get a sh chance to see what all was in there can we do that again he closed it really fast. I saw, like, some medicine or something. Flush the toilet now. Alright, let's sit back down here. So this is the box that we got out of the lockbox. Ooh, it's a gun and a phone. Uh, don't just like if <laughs> if I opened a box and there was a gun in the box I don't think I would just turn it upside down all of a sudden what if that go to the gun is loaded I don't do guns well like I've been trained with guns and stuff as a kid because my stepdad was really big into hunting so like I've had gun courses and stuff but I never I just don't like guns I would I'll probably own one at some point in my life because I do think that they're good protection and I do believe that we have everyone should have a right to own a gun by all means but I can't help it they just scare me are you prepared to show courage to save your son Joe's garage and parking lot 499 4988 Roosevelt Avenue Lexington is that Lexington Kentucky cuz I am from Louisville Kentucky an hour away from Lexington I'm well, not from Louisville, but I live in Louisville. And it's not Louisville. It's Louisville. It's one, I hate it. I hate when people from other places come here and pronounce it Louisville. Help. Dad. Oh, oh my god. I'm so cold. Are you Dad. for real? Dad. No way. How far are you prepared to go to save someone you love? Oh my god. 
Each figure is a trial. Wait, five origami figures. Each figure is a trial. Each trial provides letters. The letters reveal an address. Each figure is a trial. Each trial provides letters. So... I'm trying to understand what it means by as a trial. Do I unfold them? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he unfolded that one, I guess. The bear. Hide that. Where, like, where's he going? Another new bonus. Who are these people that it shows? It shows the these random white, people. Age between 30 and 45. He doesn't act on impulse, but plans his crimes in a very meticulous fashion. He doesn't have anything personal against the victims. That's why he covers their faces with mud. You can connect it to a projector. Why does he kill them if he doesn't have anything against them? For him, they're more of an image, a symbol. That's probably why he gives them an origami figure and an orchid as gifts to apologize for what he's done to them. Am I really controlling his PowerPoint? And where does all that get us? It builds up a profile of the killer and helps us understand the person we're looking for. It might have been useful if it was done earlier in this investigation. Continue, Jaden. Hmm. Then I studied the geographical distribution of the murders. Generally, a killer commits his first murder near to where he lives, so he has a safe place to flee to if any complications arise. The more confident he becomes, the further he roams from his base. By analyzing the locations where the victims disappeared, I was able to isolate a zone where the killer might live. And what size is this, uh, zone? For the moment, about ten square miles. I mean, that's not uh, horrible, is it? There must be 10,000 people live in that sort of area. You gonna question them one by one? I mean, 10 miles. I mean, I guess that is pretty far, actually. Stay calm. The more clues we get, the more we can reduce the zone. We can then cross-check it with our list of suspects and identify the killer. Yeah, because it's not like you're gonna suspect one every single person in that 10 mile the radius. Between the time when a victim disappears and the time when the body is found ranges from three to five days. But the rainfall is always at six inches, give or take 10%. What on earth does that mean? All the victims are drowned in rainwater. The killer kills only in the fall when there is plenty of rain. It could be that he puts them in some sort of well or tank that is open to the skies and that fills up with rainwater. <gasps> oh! The more it rains, the less time the victim has to live. That's crazy, so yeah. Because Sean was in a great. There are two suspects whose psychological profile might fit and can be connected to the comfort zone. I'd like to question them. God damn it. We're wasting our time with this bullshit. The killer's out there somewhere, and we gotta get off our asses and find him. Let's. Blake, I've had just about enough of your shit. You've been chasing this guy for what? Two years? And what are you caught, huh? Nothing! Absolutely nothing! Yeah, Please, get him. You do a better fucking job than me with your psychology degree and your great glasses? Well, let me tell you something, pal. That don't mean zip when it comes to getting out there. You're just a fucking bureaucrat. I don't... I hate people like him. I came here to find a killer. Oh, we're gonna stay and calm. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. With or without your fucking help. Fucking asshole! That's enough! I mean, I was calm. I went calm. What? How does he react if you're angry? It took six inches of rainfall before the victim died. How much time do we have left? If the weather forecasts are right, less than 72 hours. Three days. That's really kind of creative, though, as a killer, because you're not killing them. You're just putting them in a grave. The rain kills them. I mean, you're technically killing them, yes, but... So we're going out to question these these two people. See, I'm starting to pay attention a little better. No 
no Open answer. the door. We waste our time coming here. See, so, you no, know, but this is where this guy's gonna come in. He's Maybe like, we should have a little look inside anyway. Yeah. Somebody home. Why does there need to be? Any home? There that's why there should be one of each of this type of person I'm on a not team. Sure that's entirely legal. You gotta do what you gotta do. Call the cops. No, that's not actually cool though. Like in real life, that would never go down. I'd be hella mad if that happened. And a cop just busted in my door. First of all, like first off, he'd be paying for that door. He's a god-fearing idiot waiting for the end of the world. That's a little harsh. A few months back, because he was causing a disturbance in the park, he was ranting and raving. So he's got a Bible. He's got a holy Bible and an Old Testament book. What's funny is it's the NIV version, the New International Version, which is like one of the least accurate versions of the Bible. Not that any version is really truly accurate compared to what was written in the original language considering half of the words not don't even translate into English. Not half, but... What's in here? Oh, it's just a disgusting bathroom. That's nice. More medicine. He's got a lot of vitamins. That's a lot of pill bottles, like, between the two. Why do you need that many pill bottles? And it looked like most of them were vitamins. Vitamins. What's here? Oh god. That's about what my sink looks like half the time. Just joking. No, but really. What's over here? Candles are still lit. He should be back soon. Yeah, we should probably go and get out of here, actually. I mean, what else is there to see? He's crazy religious and has a lot of crucifixes. Oh my god, he's back! Uh oh. Good timing, Nathaniel. Just the man we're looking for. Angels and ministers of grace defend us. I'm Agent Norman Jaden, FBI. I'd like to ask you a few questions. There's gotta be something supernatural this going on now. I haven't done anything. I'm innocent. Relax. Nobody's accusing you of anything. We just want to talk. All right. Nathaniel, do you remember where you were last Tuesday at 4.30 p.m.? Here. I was here. I was praying. All day. Oh, that's convenient. Was there anybody with you? No. No, I was alone. There never is. I mean, that's pretty believable here, though. Where do you work, Nathaniel? Do you have a job? I'm sure he My doesn't. My sole occupation is praying to the all-merciful Lord for the salvation of humanity. You know, I don't think there's really anyone that's that, you know, I hold a religious, unless they're legitimately kind of crazy. The hour is nigh, and the wrath of God shall strike men down. I'm preparing for the end of the world. What about the voices, Nathaniel? Do you still hear the voices? We know who talks to you, don't we, Nathaniel? Well, we both know who talks to you. Don't speak that name. So Nathaniel's not his name? Oh, is he? What is, is he? he? Saying, Blake, what are you doing? I can't talk about is it. Is he possessed? Let's talk about it. He orders That's you to enough. go and find Leave new prey, him alone. doesn't he? He needs more and more. Oh, uh, this is gonna be messed up if he's not really the killer, though. No! You mustn't mention him! You'll bring him here! What is he that supposed to mean? Find that kid in the you out of your the mind? Voice is tormented you all night long. You wanted them to stop, didn't you, Nathaniel? I'm gonna stop intervening, because I kinda wanna stop. see what he says. Stop! That's enough! 
so you obeyed them, to make them stop. You took that boy with you and you drowned him. Isn't that right? No! Stop! Stop! You killed them, didn't you, Nathaniel? Are you gonna confess, you bastard? You are the Antichrist. Put down the gun, Nathaniel. I shall dispatch you to your father in hell. He is the son of Satan. He was sent to earth to destroy Shoot, us. For Christ's sake! Shoot! I... I shot him. Yep. Looks like you did. I mean, he was holding a gun on the other guy. I think that that was fairly... I mean, this is a role-playing game. I'm playing a role. Maybe I shouldn't have killed him. <laughs> it's a little late now. I was kind of thinking it was R1 to like I don't know they were sh everything was shaking a lot and I was thinking maybe R1 would like calm me down or something and let me think but I guess it was to pull the trigger which I, I mean ultimately I think I would have pulled the trigger anyways even if I had time to sit there and like I don't know deal with him Just because he, he could have killed my partner even though we get into fights or whatever, he's still my partner, he's a cop. So, you don't pull a gun on a cop unless you want to get killed. No joke. That's like a real thing. Suicide by police or whatever? Suicide? I don't know. There's a term for it. There's a baby. We're playing the badass cop again. Which is different. Yeah, Baby screaming inside. Another promising start. Which is a different cop than the other cop with the cool glasses. I should probably know their names, but I don't. We know Ethan's name now. Ethan Mars? Was that right? Ethan Mars, yeah. Does that say expoiled? Ex I don't know. Sorry if you happen to hear a frog tank running in the background, by the way. I forgot to unplug it before I started recording. It's, the frog tank is specifically why I go in the other room sometimes to record my Klonoa episodes. But my PS4 is hooked up in my bedroom, so I just kind of leave it. This is balls. I meant to... I've, I've usually tried to remember to unplug it, though, before I start recording. Anybody home? But now I'm just too lazy to... You may not even hear it. I don't know. So it's just a bunch of, like, garbage. And beer. Beer cans. I unplugged the, the frog tank, by the way. So she said, I, I can't take it anymore, I can't stand it, I'm leaving, or something like that. So she just left this baby. Hello, little cutie. Oh? Wait, so... You looking for your mama? Who was his mama? Or her mama? Who was this guy going to see? I feel like there's still a lot of details in this game that I just don't know. Either from lack of me paying attention enough, or just they haven't given enough details. I cannot stand how this game walks. Like how you walk in this game. What do I do? Come on, I have to search the house. Maybe it's not too late. Is she here still? I don't think she's here still, dude. I don't think she would have just wrote that note and left. Or, I mean, <laughs> wrote the note and then, like, stayed there. Alright, let's go in this room. Mrs. Bowles! Mrs. Bowles, are you there? Maybe she is. Oh, <gasps> no!
No, she didn't leave. She killed herself. Oh my god. Oh. I guess I Mrs. misunderstood Bold. that note. Bold, it was a me? suicide note. <laughs> I guess you wouldn't really write just like a note Wake and then up. leave. I'm a bit dumb. <gasps> she's alive! She's alive! Okay, she's alive. Oh, I've totally seen this cutscene before somewhere. Where have I seen this? Because I've never played this game before. Oh, I need to lay down on the bed, I guess. Or just awkwardly walk around with her. There we go. I'm gonna call an ambulance. No, I... I don't want to go to the hospital. Please. Okay. You got something around here I can dress this one with? Yeah. I think so. That's a sh okay. It didn't work at all, I'll then. I'll be right back. It just completely failed. She seems fine, really. Let's yeah, see. I want to check up here. This. And this. And this. <laughs> I like this guy. Not only is he a badass, but he's like... He's just a goofy fat dude. I'm here for you, Susan. You'll be alright. I'll take care of you. Alright, we're gonna dress this wound. I mean, I guess you gotta put pressure on it to get it to stop bleeding. Stay with me, Susan. Susan, do you hear me? Susan, stay with me. Can you hear me? Stay with me. Okay, come on. Uh, this is probably something I can actually fell and her die, so I should probably, like, be serious about this. There, I don't want to can. Stop the bleeding. Well, luckily, the wounds aren't too deep. Hey, how are you feeling? Okay. My baby. Oh my God, her teeth. My baby needs me. Yeah, you probably should have thought about that before you right. tried to kill yourself. You stay there. I'll take care of the baby. Like, what okay. if no one had come here to check on her for days? That baby would be you dead. Know what to do? With a baby, I mean. I'm a private eye. There's nothing I can't do. Oh, he's not a cop. He's a private eye. Okay, so he's a private detective. Her name That's... is Emily. Aw, Emily. I like that name. I used to know a girl named Emily. She was sweet. Ooh, yeah, no, let's get that blood off our hands. Is your mom probably like a crack whore or uh, some sort of junkie? Mm, we don't want to spread HIV to the baby. Oh, and there's the bottle. I like how it's like, hey, dumbass, here's a bottle. But I can't pick it up. Maybe I have to interact with the baby first. I just wanted me to know that the bottle was there. I'm not gonna use it. So, I just wanted me to know. What seems to be the problem, huh? Oh, going by the smell. And there's the diapers. Got a pretty good idea. This game is so weird. Like the most mundane little tasks become quick time events. Okay. How do you do this again? At least so far, I don't really think I like this game more than Detroit. I think Detroit is definitely better. Just the story is a little more interesting. Baby butt. But I mean, the story for this game There you go, fresh new baby. Could become a little more interesting as the time goes on. Right, Emily. Did we even like wipe the baby's butt off? Hey, what's the matter? I thought we solved the problem. <laughs> I thought we solved the problem. Now she's hungry now. Let's go try and get this bottle now. There we go. I 
I guess I better warm this thing up. Is that what that's for? I mean, I don't want to, like, put it in a... I've never seen one of those before. Mom's out there. Have you ever used a device like that? That, like, warms the baby's bottle up? I'm sure it exists, but I just thought people used the microwave for a couple seconds and then shook it around or whatever to cool it off. I mean, I know you got to get it to just the right temperature. It will burn the baby, obviously, but... Oh, Emily, are you hungry? Huh? You hold on. I'll just tilt this bottle a little bit so you don't choke. Okay. This dude is just so nice. Oh, I have to hold it. Sorry. Okay. All right. Yes. Are we done? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm a dumbass. I like I was holding up on the thing, but I guess it hadn't registered it, so it was still waiting on me to press up. But I was here I was holding up and Okay. <laughs> it was just like waiting on me. Put it back to sleep. Oh, good job, Emily. Hmm? You're feeling good now, right? <laughs> now, I'm gonna rock you very gently so you can have a nice little sleep. <laughs> That's the game's way of being like gentle. Do it gently. In case you forget what the dotted line means. Because it knows I probably have. I'm definitely going to play this game though, just like uh, whatever happens, happens. Because I know that characters can die and bad things can actually happen because it's a butterfly effect game. But uh, I feel like games like that though, it's best just to play through it the first time. And even if something happens that you don't want to happen, it's best to just go ahead and finish the game and see how it plays out. Because you never know, like, something could change, or... I mean, if someone dies, I don't think they're going to come back to life, but... Thanks for looking after my baby. I didn't want to leave her. Well, it really didn't seem like that. I just couldn't cope anymore. Just Does it matter? Not having Jeremy around. Like, where I stand? He was such a good boy. Who's Jeremy? I can't understand why anyone would want to hurt him. Oh, this is another. Can you take care of this baby on your own. Parent of Doesn't the origami Jeremy's victim. Live with you he disappeared. The day after Jeremy. Sit down next to her, maybe. I don't know what happened to him. Maybe. Maybe he couldn't take it. Ever since I've had to look after Emily all on my own and... I couldn't do it anymore. I understand. Did your husband say anything before he disappeared? What? So Jeremy was her Did husband? You leave a note or something? I'm confused. Oh, is this... I don't know, I'm really confused. No. I don't know who this girl is. Without a word and... Or who Jeremy is. There was just a cell phone. A cell phone? Yeah, I, I found a cell phone in his dresser. I'm sure it wasn't his. I'd never seen it before. This girl is, like, twitching. I tried to turn it on, but it didn't work. I don't know if they did that on purpose to make her seem jittery or what. Yeah, it's, um, it's in a drawer. Okay. Let's go get the cell phone. You can have it if you'd like. I'm yeah, sure I'd like. I don't know who this Jeremy is. Family or anybody to help you? 
Yeah. My mother. I didn't want to ask her for anything. We don't really get along. But I guess I'm out of options. Well, look after yourself. And Emily. I will. I promise. So Jeremy was her husband. But I don't know who Jeremy is. I just know that Jeremy left her. Left her there with the baby. We're not gonna call child services or anything. Yeah, those quickly move the whole controller in the indicated direction. I hate those, they're the worst. So where are we at now? I think we're going back to Ethan. So I guess we're back here with Ethan. Um, yeah, that's Ethan. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop for here here for now, guys. We'll start back here, same spot next time we start the game or next time I start the game. Uh, I really appreciate you watching, though. Uh, if you did like this video or if you enjoyed any of my commentary, I'd appreciate it very much if you leave a like or even subscribe to my channel. Uh, I am still getting started on YouTube. I've had a channel for a long time, but this is still, I'm still fairly new to uploading Let's Plays, so anything helps. I do, I do enjoy, <laughs> I do appreciate the, uh, the likes. Sorry, I'm getting distracted here. But yeah, leave a comment too if there's anything that you want to see played, and I will definitely be checking any and all comments because I don't get many yet. So that's it for today though, guys. I really appreciate you watching. See you later.